Our guest on this episode is a Nollywood actress and producer who has featured in over 100 movies. She was born in Lagos State but is a native of Ibadan, Oyo State, Nigeria. She made her acting debut in a movie produced by Mukare in 1999 titled Adeyemi. She's a loving wife and a mother. Let's make welcome the elegant Lady Bakare. Hey. Hi. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Good to have you. Thank you. Thank you. Like so I said much. before we came on, I have watched a lot of your movies. Wow. I have my opinions. Okay. But <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep okay. that to myself for now. Okay. But let's talk about the lockdown mm. and being a, an actor and all that. I noticed, I've noticed that some of your colleagues are back on set, even mm. though it's not a public conversation. But we've noticed it mm -hmm. because they can't stay away from their phone, you know. Yes. So how would you say, before we get to that point, how would you say um, the lockdown affected production and your finances if it actually did uh, well i uh, it's so good to be here you guys are doing just too good Thank well you. done well done uh, okay well lockdown we need something we never expect so we we never prepared for it mm. we won't be prepared and uh, we'll follow up like i always say like mm. it has happened it has happened it's here and mm. it's really not going anytime soon mm no matter what we do. Yeah, sort of the do. new normal. Yeah, just, so we just have to take to precautions and all. But in terms of its impact, I think, in my own case, it will be quite different from a whole lot of people, yeah. a whole lot of experiences. And I don't know, there's something about me that is always different. Mm -hmm. Things don't really come at me the way it does to others. Yeah. Mm. So sometimes it's better I just speak for Grace. myself. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Because prior to the lockdown, I tell you, it has always been extremely hectic for me when it comes to my daily, day-to-day -day activities, my work, my job, what I do, what I still need to do. Because I was in the U.S. for some time, so I came back and I was like, okay, I really need to cash up. Mm. So... It was, I kept working and working mm. and working back to back, no rest, nothing. So, after the log, we did, before, while we were hearing, listening to news, you know, seeing the updates, updates mm. in China, how everything was unfolding, it was scary at first, and we never prepared it really at all. good to be we here. We were just watching like Hollywood. Yeah. <laughs> and it was seeming like mm. we were still Being listening it. to the news one day, and it's really like it's all gone. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, but, you know, all of a sudden, everything changed. Mm. And what do we have to do? Nothing but follow up. Mm. Yeah. So, if I'm getting you correctly, it did not affect your finances because you are a child of grace. No, 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 no. <laughs> not in terms of finances. It, why, why are, you, are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> because, you know, it is this time you find out that there are so many people that are not Saving. economically stable. Mm. There are just too much. Even the, the ones you think they are very okay. Yeah. You will find out that it's really, there's really nothing. Yeah. So during this pandemic, this lockdown, I can, if I open my phones, I cannot mm. say out the numbers of um, account numbers, yeah. account details, mm. send me money, do this, they give away, it was just too, too much. And the only impact, the impact on me was that I had the chance to rest. Mm. Yeah. Yes, because I have never been rested. I've never, because, you know, I was working okay. and I feel yeah. cool with it. But mm. the first three weeks of lockdown, I was so tired. I kept on sleeping. I wake wow. up, I eat, I sleep. So you needed it. So I yeah. really needed it. But now, we are trying, everything has... It's been back now, skeletally. We are trying to like do things, yeah. And in a what, very what you, way. so now that you're, I, I would I is it okay for us to say that you're back in production? Yeah, everybody, people oh, really? are back, yeah, people are even back you on as location. well. How is that for you trying to adjust to that? It's you, not easy, yeah. yeah. I, I tell you, it's really it's not easy, it's scary, it's uncomfortable mm -hmm. because sometimes our kind of job, there are so many upcoming actors, actors that are like they've not seen, they've not been on set before, and as a particular product and for the first time they are seeing you mm -hmm. you are like a role model and they're like so happy to mm. see you they just jump at you mm. so people don't so you can't no really social yes no say. social media so you can't really like push them away like no mm. you don't do this so it would seem like you, you, you yeah. yeah so you want to take it but easy you're like, fighting for your life i think he's allowed mm. to be rude though. i i, I understand <laughs> but it's really it's really not easy yeah mm. because sometimes it's not like the young the younger ones people that older people that Mm. They are much more older, yeah. they are very well okay. Maybe they are just trying this part of 
I, you, yeah, for the yeah. first time, and they're seeing you for the first time, and they feel like people jump at you, and there are things that, like, they, they mark you, they will mark you sure, so for, for but, the audio. Away, away from from um, the the fan freak about it, would there be some roles that you would say you're a bit hesitant, like, let's say kissing in your role? Yeah, or? romantic roles would be very difficult to for play now, now because... Yeah you should be able to interpret the script correctly and mm. make it believable. Mm. So if you have scenes that has a whole lot of romance, you need to kiss, you need to hold, you need to touch, and you can't do it, you know, mm. accordingly, you're so not you doing you, justice you wouldn't, to the movie. Yeah. So yeah. would you do it? For now? Mm -hmm. You know, it's still in a skeletal way. I can't really say that we are really, really f back to mm -hmm. work fully. Okay. Yeah. I, even I think the producers that are working now are very selective and they feel like, instead of me doing this script for now, mm -hmm. let me do this that mm -hmm. I can that's still, achievable, uh, yeah, right. achievable and adhere okay. to all the yeah. rules but and aside precautions. But aside this fear you're talking about, I mean, we all have that fear. Even I work here, we are, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. um, Looking at what used to be attainable when shooting before coronavirus and now that production has started, mm -hmm. right? Are there any measures that you can tell us that you have noticed the directors and the producers are taking to at least ensure that there is a level of safety while we battle the personal fear? Ex mm. I, I, except for the face mask in which people even take off. Of course, mm, of course. So, uh, often. People take it out like often. Then you see some people with hand sanitizer. Mm. Those are just the two that it's wow. noticeable. Mm. Apart from that, I don't really think there is a mm. whole lot going on in terms of prevention. Right. You know, Nigerians, it feels like coronavirus is still in the West. Mm. Like it's really not people here. People still mm. feel like the the government, you know, it's, it's been yeah, politicized the numbers, and yeah. everything. People <clears throat> there are some people that are not really, really, really into the reality of this pandemic. Yeah. And it's good to have somebody like you on this table because you have fans and they mm. listen to you. Mm. Can you please mm. use this opportunity to speak to them? Because even um, um, some minutes ago, the news of a senator, um, senator, um, what's his name Pepe, now? Pepe. 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 I'm, I'm Pepe. trying to remember his real oh, name, yeah. but I know him as Pepe. God rest his soul. He just mm. died um, from coronavirus. Mm. So. So can you help us share this message with people to let them understand that this it's is not real. a hoax, yeah, this is real. It's real. Coronavirus mm. is it's real. And there's always been this report that it will definitely get worse before mm. it gets better. So, and we pray to be part of the, the people that will survive it yeah. to, you know, to talk about it in the future that we were part of mm. this history. It's real. People should just be calm. Mm. Even, I, I don't know, you know, you can't really, sometimes you feel like you can't really talk so much to people because people will feel like, is it because you are comfortable? Mm. So you think, let us, we cannot, we are hungry, we are dying. If, you don't, if we don't die of virus, we will die yeah, of hunger. Mm. So people are just out there, you know, so going about their normal life like the usual. But a, away, from, away from coronavirus, there's also been a, in fact, an outrage in, the, in Nigeria in regards to rape and sort of a lot of things are going on and some people are of the opinion that the the Nollywood industry especially Yoruba movies as well sometimes are not doing a good job at really de playing de depicting movies that either teach consent or teach respect for women what, what do you have to say about that I think is the very we are wired, it's our history, it's our culture, we mm. are blacks, we are Nigerians, we are Yorubas, you know, we are Igbos, we are Ausas, you know. I, well, when it's becoming too much, you overstretch it, you overdo it, mm. it becomes so boring. Mm. And like, do you think you don't have any other message to pass across? You don't have any other way to sell your culture mm. outside this country? Why are you always concentrating and you know, dealing with this kind of storyline. Mm. Then can't you just think out of the box? Mm. So, so many times you can't really tell people what to do. Right. You can only try within your own serve, in your own little way mm. to view things in other ways. Like people will say, oh, in the West, there's a lot of shooting, killings, mm. police um, brutality sure, and right. all, you know, and there are movies about that. Yeah. So it feels as, okay, in Nigeria, that is the way we were. That mm. is the way we have been. And that is where we are still. So people believe so much in, you know, traditional way of 
doing things, doing things, resolving problems, and mm. all. But we are more than that. Yeah. Okay, let's let's quickly touch on Nollywood because we'll have to go soon. Um, Yoruba, you are majorly in the Yoruba acting area. Mm -hmm. How would you say that um, industry has evolved over the years? Hmm, slowly. Mm. Slow. Too I think, slow? Yeah, it's still slow. Mm -hmm. Of course, still slow. Mm -hmm. Still very slow. But I would say that is just because of our country, where we found ourselves. There's practically mm -hmm. no support. The government are not, you know, intervening. They are not helping in any way. Mm -hmm. And these guys always put in effort to try as much as possible to bring something out. Mm. So in a way, people will say they can't actually kill themselves. Mm. They, they want to make do with the little budget they have. And they have to work around it. As long as they are able, they are able to put it out and they have their own target audience and the audience still patronize them and they still have some sort of income. Mm. You know, it might not be that buoyant, but at least it's keeping them and they are involving, they are living, they are, it's a means of livelihood. Yeah. And they sometimes feel okay with it. Some mm. would but, say but not... that the English part, that's, well, they're all Nollywood, but yeah, English mm -hmm. part that they have more money or they, they there's more progress in that mm. area compared mm -hmm. to what's happening in the Yoruba um, mm -hmm. Nollywood. Mm -hmm. Would you agree with that? Uh, yes and no. Okay. okay. Yes, because I wouldn't like to. This lockdown actually made me to study the, uh, the industry right. mm -hmm. and different genre of mm. uh, movie making in Nigeria, yeah. like the Yoruba, the Aousas, and the general English. English language. So I feel. Yeah, they are showing out nice movies, nice concepts. Mm. I, 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 recently, during this lockdown, like a few time. weeks ago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but prior to that time, so bad I don't watch movies at mm. all. It's zero. Yeah. And it's not good for me. So it's part of the changes coronavirus has but brought. actually <laughs> brought. And I think it's working for me now. Mm. I'm able to, like, have time to watch our movies, to study and all. The, the guys are they're doing good. Yeah, mm. they are doing, those guys are doing good. But comparison, I've not watched enough. Mm. To be able to, you know, differentiate. Would, would you want to, um, tr like, convert, if I should say? I do. I've done, oh, but are you kidding time. me? I've done, okay, I leave your full time. There is really no point leaving anything for anything. Because right. even the ones that, you know, work in that area of the general language, they still always want to work with be part of yeah. Yoruba movies production. So mm -hmm. I think you cannot really say, okay, you want to try this and you want to leave this. And then I've done a couple. I've done a couple. But it's just like, you know, I left the show of this country for some time, for almost five years. I wasn't really working. I, you know, I diversified into real estate mm. and all that. So it really took my time. But now I'm coming back, I feel like, okay, I just have to be everywhere anyway. Just mm. I guess, I guess <laughs> diversification <laughs> is um, the one thing that keeps Nollywood actors going. Mm. What would you say about that? It's it's worth it. It's mm. worth it because you cannot rely. Yeah, you can't rely on one at all means of income. At least as an entrepreneur, as someone that wants to grow in life, you should have like minimum of like five, six of stream of course. Wow. So, yeah. Hmm. So I yeah, of wow, course, wow. yeah. So for so some how many of are you into now? I'm into like three or four. Okay, okay. so you need yeah. two more. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I need to. Work. Okay. Wow. Yeah, I'm into mm. real estate. I do property. I sell. I build. Then into Nollywood, mm. traveling, tourism. Okay. Yes, I know. So you know. The more mm. the merrier. <laughs> yeah, the more the merrier. Yeah, yeah right. and it's interesting you mentioned tourism. I never knew that part. Mm -hmm. So how is that playing? Because that's another sector that, that was. Yeah. I mean, it was hit bush bush. <laughs> in this <laughs> coronavirus pandemic, so, I tell you, and we were like baby and it's still trying to mm. grow. So what's the so plan really to come back? To After the whole pandemic, you know. Yeah, you, I, you know, there is one thing I am enjoying in this environment. This period is like you can't really say this is you. Mm. Yeah, you will evolve with you will. You will live by what what will happen. You don't know what mm. to, it's just mystery. And as it unfolds, you don't have any choice other than to keep up with it. Right. Yeah. And to find a way. We are not animals, we are human beings. Mm. And find a way to, you know, to adapt and make do of what we have now. Make do to adapt to the new normal. And mm. honestly, I'm enjoying the new normal. A, a new normal is also seen in Nigerian um, English speaking movies on Netflix, but we haven't seen any Yoruba um, movie on Netflix. Do you think that that's something we, sh we could at least hope for? Of course, it will happen. Mm -hmm. okay. No, that's Nigeria for us now. It will happen. Mm -hmm. Something to, to start gradually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, someone will spearhead something. 
and we call the attention of others like, hey, what mm -hmm. are you doing? Mm -hmm. So what's up? Just check it out. It's mm -hmm. here, it's here, it's here. These are your people. Your, your people are making movies and they're making good dollars. Mm -hmm. And your own movies. What are, so it's a wake-up call for everybody. Mm -hmm. Before you know it, they'll begin to scream like, ah, you people have too much movies. <laughs> <laughs> and then before you know it, Netflix will be like, ah, okay. <laughs> yeah, they'll know. It, it, it will okay. happen. Thank you, Lady Bakari, for you so doing tea with us. Okay. Thank you so much. <laughs> and that's how I wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching. And you can send your opinions via WhatsApp to zero. 9065719 or tweet at us at Plus TV Africa. Remember, you can watch all our exclusive content by visiting our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. Also, watch Tea Time in London on Ben Television and, of course, on R2 TV. My thank you would go to my co anchor Ife Ulua Omai, and um, our guest, Lady Bakari. Thank you once thank again. You. Thank you for having me. Thank my you. name is Elsie Godwin. Do stay safe. <laughs>